Hi, welcome back to the course. In this video, we will discuss how to use the at named query annotation. Let's begin. So we're going to use the at named query annotation inside the entity class. So we are inside the employee.java entity class. Let's use the at named query annotation. This will take a couple of options. The first option, which is nothing but the name, the name, which is nothing but the name of the method. I'm going to call this get all records. And the second option, which is nothing but the query. And here we are not going to write the, the SQL query. Instead, we're going to write the, the JPQL query. We have already discussed about the jpql queries the jpql queries contains the entity name instead of the table name as well as the field names instead of the column names so let's write the jpql query from the table name but the table name is mapped with the entity name which is employee from employee you can write the where condition or the where clause in case if you want to filter out the records based on the columns but i'm going to keep it simple from employee that's it and now first of all i'm going to comment this at named native query integration because we are going to use the same method names for this if we use at named native query and the at named query with the same method names then we get we will get an conflict we will get an error so for now I'm going to comment this and let's save this and inside the employee repository we are going to create a new method which is nothing but the this is going to return the list of employees list of employee and the method name if you go to the employee.java let's copy the method name which is get all records and paste it that's it so now let's save this and inside the employee controller and let me make use of the same method which we have been working with so far which is at get mapping annotation slash employees so let me comment this and return e repo the employee repository dot get all records you can see this is going to return the list of employees so now let's save this our application will restart but uh, for some reason we are getting some exception let's see that no property get all records found for type employee that is fine let's go to the employee repository let me comment this now let's save this this time we should not get any errors but still we are getting some errors that is because this is get all records okay all we need to do is we have to attach the entity name which is employee.getRecords so let's save this and this time we should not get any errors yes so whenever we are writing the at named query annotations then we need to prepend the entity name for the method name okay so let's save this now let's go back to the postman and when i click on this send we should get the same records which are available in the database let's go to the create employee let's quickly add a record the new record which is anand anand he is from america when i click on this send we should get the response but when i go to the slash employees get mapping click on this send we should get the four records the employee id one two three and four all right this is how we can use at named query annotation so at named query annotation we are going to use at the entity class name and we are going to prepare the entity name for the method name and we are going to use the jpl jpql query instead of the native query all right in the next video we are going to discuss about the 
documenting our REST APIs using the Swagger. I will see you in the next video.